As humanity entered industrial era and developed, the CO2 emissions followed. The more we consume, the more we pollute. And it seems like there's no turning point, which is kind of not true. Today we are talking about environmental Kuznets curve. This curve represents an inverted U-shape, where per capita income and CO2 emissions are positively correlated to the point where the trend turns and the opposite uh, relationship can be observed. The name of the EKC curve is inspired by the similar correlation between income inequality and the economic growth proposed by the economist Simon Kuznets. The curve also works if we replace uh, CO2 emissions with general environmental damage and uh, income per capita with GDP growth. The assumption under EKC curve is built on the basis of three common effects. First one is responsible for initial increase of environmental degradation as economies grow, so-called scale effect. Increased outputs require increased inputs, which causes more natural resources to be used, and therefore pollution levels rise. At the beginning of industrial era, uh, the consumption was growing rapidly, while the efficiency of first steam turbines was minimum. At the times, the efficiency was around 1%, what can be described with simple analogy. Your microwave could be working for around 2.3 hours by using only 15 kilograms of coal. But now the efficiency of simple coal thermal plant is 30 to 40 times higher uh, than it was before, uh, besides other technologies. When it comes to the point when the volumes of production are levelized by the inputs uh, due to increased efficiency, this is called technological effect, which is responsible for the turning point on the EKC curve. As we know from the basic economic theory, the market is pushing uh, companies to sell uh, products on the lower price. Therefore, companies are investing uh, in more and more efficiency uh, and research and development, therefore decreasing costs and maximizing their profits. At this point, as the technological effect takes place as less inputs are needed for higher outputs. As this process continues, the EKC curve starting getting negative slope. So as we are becoming wealthier, the more negative the slope is. This process could be described as composition effect. Governments and companies increase their consumption of services and this results into higher uh, incomes for population, therefore we becoming wealthier without polluting more. Going into the real world, it is plain to see that in highly developed countries uh, annual CO2 emissions decrease without affecting GDP growth at all. For example, uh, in the United States, as for the year of 2020, uh, the GDP grew for about 2.2%, while the annual uh, CO2 emissions decreased uh, for 11%. The same stats could be collected from all other countries like Germany, Denmark, Czech Republic, etc. Of course, as EKC curve is only an assumption, it has lots of objections around it. Some studies claim that pollution is not sought to decrease globally. Its intensity moved from one part of the world to another. Additional underlying factors behind the creation of pollution heavens are the differences in regulation and costs of production. It can also be noticed that as we produce more, we consume more. So there's no turning point where the consumption will stop. So instead of going sloppy, the curve will be straight. In order not to be so depressing at the end of the video, there's still a belief that in modern society, as they are becoming wealthier and the elasticity of demand grows, there are still some people who are ready and able to pay for cleaner environment. Their wish is going to be followed by the appropriate regulations, as politicians are aimed at gaining more voters support. So we are likely to see some positives on the negative slope of environmental Kuznets curve. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because you're going to see a lot of interesting videos about environment and energy uh, as there's lots of videos to be translated from my Ukrainian channel. I'm not saying goodbye for now.